I'd like to talk about using images and slicing images so they scale to fill um, buttons and other elements. Um, here I am in Xcode. I'm going to make a new project. And I'm going to start with the single view application. And I'll save this. I'll call it Slices. And I'll put it in this folder here. And what I'm going to do to get started here is I'm going to grab these two images that I've created here. I've got a sort of a, a square with rounded corners here in green, and then I have another one that's in red. Okay? And both of these images are the same size. They happen to be a 104 by 104 pixels. And so I'll just grab both of these and drag them into my Xcode project. And Xcode will ask me to import the images. And I'll say, yeah, let's copy them to this Xcode project. So, you know, it'll create a copy of those images in the project. And then the originals will stay where they are. So um, I'm going to go to the main storyboard here. And let's use the images. So, you know, if we don't do anything, the images are going to work like this. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, going to make a button here. And uh, I'll make it a little bigger. And if I use a button, I can set an image for the button. And I can choose one of my two images here. And so the image looks like that. Or I'll, I'll delete the, the button the image there. Or I can use the, um, the image this way as the background for the button. And you can see here it, it sort of scales to fill the area. Let's do that again. So I can set the image here, and you can see actually in this case the, the, the button image is kind of just printed inside there. So this is the 104 by 104, and then it puts the label to the, to the right, okay? So, you know, in this case I kind of have a problem if the image size is, is too small to show the label and the button, right? Um, and I get kind of a weird scaling there, right? So this would be okay. This mode would be okay if I had an icon or something that I wanted to sit next to the to the label, right? And then if I use the background property here and I choose the image, you can see that the image fills the entire area of the button, but then the image is sort of scaled to fit that area. And that's a little weird too. Okay, so, so what can we do about this to make it work a little better? So what I'd like to do is I'm going to go into um, this folder here called Image XC Assets. Okay, and when I go in here, usually the app icons are in here and some and like the startup image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom here and click on the plus button and it says Add Image or Image Set. And since I've imported the images into this project, I'm going to import the files from the project. Okay, so I'll click on that, and then you can see here's the two button images. It shows me all the images in my project, but I'm going to just select these two, right, because that's the only two I have. And then I'll click Import. And then it says, hey, you know, do you want to use version control? And I'll say, yeah, sure. You know, we'll make a, a snapshot of this project. That doesn't really affect us here, right? And then there's my two buttons. So now that I have the buttons here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the buttons. And what I want to do is I want to click on this Show Slicing at the very bottom here. Okay, it says Show Slicing. And when I click on that, it shows me the button here and it says Start Slicing, right? So I'll, I'll click on that. And you can slice it so it scales horizontally, vertically, or both. So I'm going to choose both. And I'll, I'll do the same thing with this image here, okay? I'll slice them both. And what's going to happen is Xcode is going to cut the image up into nine pieces. So one piece will be this corner, one piece will be this area, one here, right? So that's three, and then there's three, and there's three, right? 
And, uh, and you can adjust the slices here. If you click on the image, you can see under the properties, you have to make sure you're on this tab here with the attributes, right? And it'll give you this slicing area. And the area here tells you where the left slice is and where the right slice is. So, you know, maybe if I want the slices to go halfway across here, since this is 104 wide, maybe I'll set that to, you know, 52, right? And I'll make this 52 and 52 and 52 and you can see it adjusts the number here I think you have to have like one pixel between the two okay so that'll be my slice there and now let's go back to the storyboard okay and it kind of gives me this thing here because it's lost that image because I move the image from here into this assets thing so it's kind of lost touch with it so I'll click on the button now and I'm going to delete that. And then what I'll do is I'll set the background image again. So I'll choose button there. And now you can see that the button actually is filling the entire area here. No matter how big or small I make it. And so what's happening is the, the, um, the, the, the computer is taking this edge right here and putting that on the left edge of the button and not scaling it out of proportion just using the image exactly the way as it as this corner appears right and then it's using this corner on the right side of the button and then what it does is it takes this area in the middle and it stretches it all the way across okay and you have some options there um, you can determine whether it scales the area or tiles it repeats it okay but the effect though is that the button doesn't get out of proportion because the corners here don't get stretched or you know scaled okay just the area in the middle here okay and the same thing will happen with this one I, I set the options here to take a bigger chunk of the corner but this can be the whole corner too right okay so anyway so there's a quick um, quick demonstration of using the slices okay and we, we can try the other the other image there too and you can see this one works the same way